After a seven-year court battle, a former honorary treasurer of the Singapore Chess Federation SCF has won a defamation suit against 21 members of the organization who had signed a letter that falsely accused him of sexual misconduct. Businessman Jasmine Nisbon was awarded $120,000 by a district judge, who said aggravated damages were warranted against the 21 defendants. The defendants, many of whom have occupied high-level positions in government as well as in the private sector, had signed a requisition letter between November 2015 and January 6, 2016, seeking to overthrow the sitting president and executive council, including Mr. Nisbon. The letter stated that Mr. Nisbon and another council member had been implicated in an incident of sexual misconduct at the SCF office in Bishan on August 30, 2015, which led a female chess trainer to resign and file police report. What actually took place was that Mr. Nisbon was present in the room when the other council member made a remark to the trainer that she felt was insulting. Mr. Nisbon was later interviewed as part of investigations. In a 427-page judgment dated July 31, 2023, District Judge Tan Meiti said a member who reads the offending statements would take them to mean that Mr. Nisbon was one of the two council members accused of sexual misconduct. She said, Naming the plaintiff as one of the two council members implicated in the sexual misconduct incident without distinguishing the different roles they played had the effect of tarnishing both council members with the same brush of shame. The event that spawned the lawsuit can be traced back to SCF's executive council elections on August 2, 2015, when Mr. Ignatius Leong, the incumbent president, suffered a sharp defeat against his opponent, Mr. Leonard Lau. Mr. Leong had been SCF president since 2007 and actively involved in chess for over 40 years, both locally and internationally. He had also served as general secretary of the world governing body for chess, Federation Internationale do ECAX. Disagreements soon arose among the newly elected council members, which came from two opposing camps, one loyal to Mr. Leong and the other consisting of members including Mr. Lau and Mr. Nisbon. Five council members, who supported Mr. Leong, resigned on October 23, 2015. On January 6, 2016, a requisition request was sent to the SCF calling for a vote of no confidence against Mr. Lau and his counsel. Accompanying the request was a letter which contained detailed reasons for the ouster. One section of the letter referred to the resignation of the female trainer and named Mr. Nisbon as one of the two council members implicated in the incident. A total of 51 requisitioners had been persuaded by Mr. Leong to sign the request. Not all of them read the requisition letter before they signed. On January 22, 2016, Mr. Nisbon's lawyers wrote to the requisitioners, informing them that the statements were untrue and offering them an opportunity to dissociate themselves from the requisition letter. This left 39 members who did not and were sued for libel. Subsequently, another 18 members settled the matter with Mr. Nisbon. Mr. Leong was not sued in his personal capacity, as he did not sign the requisition letter. Judge Tan concluded that Mr. Leong was instrumental in canvassing support for the requisition, which was driven by his supporters. The judge also found that the defendants were reckless as to the truth of the defamatory statements or were motivated by an improper purpose to support Mr. Leong in his campaign to oust the sitting council. Judge Tan said, the record shows that many of them had dug in their heels and insisted that the statements were not defamatory and that they had done no wrong in endorsing the same, even when they had not read the requisition letter. 
She also noted that the trial revealed the combative attitudes and the disdain and contempt displayed by some of the defendants towards Mr. Nisbon. She highlighted that Mr. Alphonsus Chia, a former chief executive of the now defunct regional airline Silk Air, insisted that Mr. Nisbon was unreasonable in taking legal action to clear his name and hence challenged the plaintiff to bring it on. Commenting on the verdict, Mr. Nisbon said he was glad that the saga has come to an end. After seven long years and substantial investment in time, effort, money and emotion, justice has finally prevailed. And the court has vindicated my name and reputation. Mr. Nisbon thanked his lawyers, Mr. Lau Kok Kang, Mr. Daniel Quack and Ms. Edina Lim from Roger Tan, and said that he hopes to put their experience behind him.